So clearly remember with the ground attacks that have come in from the IDF into Lebanon could definitely escalate the conflict. Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah's death in an Israeli strike on September 27th in Beirut has led to now these developing updates. Uh, the death also, remember, has left Hezbollah at crossroads. The question is who will be the new leader in command and will they be as strong as Nasrallah has been all these years, in fact decades. Here's a report on what can you expect specifically when it comes to Hezbollah now and that it has been targeting Israel in this multi-pronged war. Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah who led the Hezbollah for 32 years, was killed in an Israeli airstrike on Beirut. The death of the Hezbollah leader marks a pivotal moment for the Shia militant group, which has seen much of its top leadership decimated by Israeli operations. When Hezbollah's operation chief, Ibrahim Akil, and top commander, Fuad Shukr, also eliminated. Nasrallah's cousin, Hashem Sarfedin, is now seen as a leading contender to succeed him. Born in 1964 in Deir Kanon Al Nahar, South Lebanon, Saifuddin has been a key figure within Hezbollah. He was designated a terrorist by the United States in 2017. He has led Hezbollah's executive council since 1994, overseeing political affairs and serving on the Jihad Council. In 2017, Saudi Arabia also blacklisted Saifuddin. Saifuddin's ties to Iran runs deep. His son is married to Zainab Soleimani, daughter of the late Iranian general Qasim Soleimani. Like Nasrallah, Saifuddin is a cleric and bears a striking resemblance to the former Hezbollah leader. These attributes may work in his favor as Hezbollah looks to name its new chief. Now the big question ahead of the Hezbollah is that who is going to revive this Malaysia which was created and made a powerful Malaysia by Hassan Nasrullah. It seems that the very close associate of Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah and the first choice of Iran, Hashim Saifuddin, could lead this forest and rise from ashes to new beginning. Ashrafani, find you today in Beirut.